Okay, kids. I think it's time to have a serious talk. Previously, I wanted to call this video why AI research sucks. But actually, it doesn't suck. It's just not for everyone. And at some point, you may understand that it's not for you. And it's better that you, you will understand it earlier than you will understand it later. Because then you may be in trouble. So it's actually as I said, it's not for everyone. Some people may enjoy it, but some people not. And there are some very subjective and also very objective reasons why you may not enjoy it. And you may not like to do AI research like very seriously or in very high level. So I have a few points, which just like my thoughts and my observations, humanly not just for myself, but I think it also can be useful for other people. So, so let's start with one of the most objective uh, like nuances. Why such work may be actually very difficult and very intense and maybe even stressful. Because to publish some works, you need to dem you need to demonstrate state of the art results. You need to beat benchmarks, and you need to be better than all the other researchers and their algorithms before you. So, just this little just this little pressure to be the best, to be the best of all the other people in that field, and not to be the best just once. But to be the best few times per year, like by schedule, because you need to publish works, like, and you need to publish big amount of work, so you need to always like exceed previous human performance. You like you need you maybe you maybe you heard that you need to push like boundaries of. Um, of human knowledge and so on and it may sound cool but it actually it's actually difficult like to push boundaries of human knowledge and to push boundaries of algorithms ability and performance it's actually difficult and it's also difficult to do it periodically not just once so i think this is a moment which would be which may be difficult for any person. What comes from that, which is what is less objective and more like personal, is also uh, my observation, which is arguable, but I actually pretty sure that it's true. That any uh, in order to perform or produce some good piece of work, to produce some good research. You actually need to be creative. And you need to produce very original work. And it might work out sometimes just to take parts of other algorithms and like recombine them or to do something from um, algorithms which, which, which were already created or to find some application, but it will not be very high level work and probably it will not make a lot of impact. So it just requires this very personal feature just to have this creativity. And again, not to be creative just like once or to create something which nobody had thought about just once, but to do it periodically. So you need to be creative and you need to create original solutions periodically which is again it's not that simple probably there are some people with which has such kind of mind which they really can generate it continuously but not everyone is like that yeah and again what you not only you should propose 
something original that nobody has thought about, but it also should be better than everything else. Which, is, which sounds crazy, but that's how people work and people really do it and people, some people enjoy it. You may enjoy it as well, but I just feel like it may be worth clarifying for some people. Because maybe for me personally, I didn't understand it before, but now it's something clear. Okay, so next point which is again more subjective and more, more personal is that good research requires a lot of theory and very good math. Some for people who like math and like long formulas, who like to read them and who are fine with producing and generating new formulas, that's absolutely okay. If you like math, you will be good. If you don't like it would be difficult to avoid it. So just prepare that. Basically, any good research require good theory behind. Even if it is experimental work, it would be much stronger if it has some theory behind it. It also requires a lot of engineering, which again, whether you like it or you don't. If you want to like top level research, you probably would need to do it at some scale and it would require engineering skills. Another thing, which is again subjective, like most of them are subjective, but um, still, so that's point that most of the research is very open. So everything is open sourced, everything is shared, and just based on this philosophy of openness and availability for everyone, which again you may like or you may not like. like yeah, sometimes it's useful, sometimes it helps to find collaboration or to attract uh, some new ideas and to push some research forward. But another point is not you who really benefit from your work. Because once you did something, you share it and everyone, everyone benefits from it. If you like such approach, it may be good. If you don't like, again, just difficult to accept at some point that once you did some work and you worked hard on it and you published it openly, someone else took and sell it and make a lot of money on it just because of this openness or anybody else can take your results and like, no matter how far you developed in one direction anybody else can take your results and continue from that point even though this person didn't do any related work on or didn't have any experience like you did just can benefit from your results and maybe do something, do some, do a little bit more and take and get much more benefits than you get from the, for the same work and from, from much larger amount of work. So I should be ready for that. And the last and probably the most important of all these points is that your success and your achievements are mostly measured by the impact your work does which is in turn measured mostly by citations because impact is very difficult to measure actually and what is the issue there is that impact is very highly related to popularity. How popular is your work? So not how technically difficult it is, but just how popular it is. So yeah, and talking particularly about citations or like some practical aspects, like the evaluation 
of US researcher probably will go like through the citations which yeah just to say shortly is very bad measure which is again very subjective which is highly depends not on the quality of your work but it depends on other very often external factors and it also very depends on just advertisement just question of popularity and citations it's mostly question of advertisement marketing and such things it's not a question of quality of your work and taking out details of your work like you can find plenty examples of that and there are plenty of proofs that a lot of very good works just went unnoticed and didn't have any development just because people didn't know about them uh, it also may depend on where you work in each lab or who you work with or how you present your work how you really sell it like how, how, how much time you present it and which conferences so like it's many many of such factors and the and very and at the very end of this list somewhere there it would be like it would be there would be actually like the value of your work and like research value of it just one dumb example is that you will get a lot of citations probably and you will be kind of successful just if your work gets viral so just if some people start talking about it and others will continue it it will just go through the whole internet and will make a lot of noise which again depends on many factors which you cannot control so like the success of your work depends not on you but sometimes just on very stochastic like reasons so there are a lot of very good very decent works people cannot discuss all of them right they just select few which may be up to the preference of like some editor and then they will be the discussion on them will be continued while while other works will be forgotten so it's like, it's possible to continue this discussion like for a long time but uh, that's how it is in research and yeah I think it's not for everybody. So this is basically my list of such observations, which makes you think actually about whether you want to go seriously in it, and whether you want to um, spend your life doing that. Maybe you have your thoughts, or maybe you disagree with my thoughts, just let me know in the comments i think this discussion is still open like it's not like it could be closed that we can like find agreement that okay AI research sucks <laughs> no probably not AI research will exist and it will be very suitable for one people but not be suitable for other people so it's just a question to you to define to which group of people do you relate yourself Thanks for your attention. See you in the comments. Прекрасным началом большого пути. Я думал, что станет история эта, но некуда больше теперь мне идти. С орбиты сместилась родная планета. В состоянии несамости мы летим на бешеной скорости, сочиняя сюжет новой. Безопасности на краю проб.